MMA odds breaker today is Ottawa, the assassin. Get ready to fight the Chucky Freire. Come up here on Bell Tour 141, obviously on Spike TV. Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking to him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's 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 that stage of life at this point now for you. Uh, you got to win to keep the money coming in. You have to fight to keep the money coming in. You have to win to keep the money increasing. And you still have to be an entertainer. You still have to make fans want to watch. Yeah. You know, um, you have a severe benefit over most of the other people. Uh, you speak English clearly, so it helps. I mean, it, it's the biggest market in the world. That speaks English. You got to you know you have to appeal to them. Do you feel like that the burden is being carried by you for this fight to, to kind of sell the fight and make people want to pay attention to it? Uh, a little bit. I mean, I think this fight for like the, the real fans, you know, I mean, it, it'll sell itself with just our, yeah. our highlights, you know, from guys that we both fought and guys that we beat and guys that we've lost to. But um, I think our styles uh, should be able to sell this fight regardless. You know, you still any of our highlights up. And there's there's always excitement in it, so we should be able to sell it that way. Do you think that uh, it's going to be a distraction to you having to worry about getting the fight a little bit more notoriety, getting the fight a little bit a little bit more pay attention to? Is it, has it been a distraction at all this far in training camp? No, no, it's it's cool, it's cool. To be honest, you know, what I mean, uh, you know, when I was used to when I first got to Bellator, I was in the tournament. Uh, we didn't really have this long time to, to build up a fight. It was like they had like a week of advertising because it was a tournament, you know, fight every week. So we only had a week of advertising. So, I mean, that week was usually fight week where you're doing interviews and media and all kinds of stuff. So it all kind of, you know, went together. But now, you know, they've been promoting it. They've been promoting it a lot more the past, uh, you know, the, the past, you know, week or two. You know, as we're getting closer, they're promoting it more, which is which is awesome. You know, so it's a. Uh, not really a distraction it's part of it and it just gives me more reason to go train harder do you miss the tournament style fights where it's just like every week you got to make weight every week you got to fight again like do you miss that kind of game uh it was, it was every month you know you had to make weight and uh fight again which which i didn't mind because it was a uh, it was a big payday you know i made a lot more than i made uh i made a lot more in the tournaments than i made now which you know my pay is going up you know everybody knows that you know you win you you know gets better but um in the tournament you had a hundred thousand dollar pot you know, and then, you know, you're, you're, you're three fights, three fights, one hundred G's. That's, that's a lot more than three fights I'll make out of the tournament. Yeah. Uh, did you, it does not, it's not getting better. It's not getting closer. I mean, cause you're only able to fight before you would fight three times in the tournament. You're fighting three times a year, but you're saying the money's not the same. Like you're still not going to catch that, that hundred grand, you know, at the end of three fights, you know, in the year. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, my fights are getting closer, you know. You know, goes up a you know a certain amount every fight, and uh, I am getting a you know you know hopefully I'll be able to renegotiate my contract soon. You know I'm getting I'm almost at that point. I'm one maybe two fights away. So you know okay. coming off coming off of a win, I know I'll be able to you know hit 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 that mark and be able to make some good money. Well, let's talk about Patricky. How what does he bring? I mean, obviously we know he's a knockout artist. You know, he, he basically got a submission by by if I remember correctly, got a submission by smashing somebody, and then they gave him gave him the submission. You know, he's not not a a huge submission guy. Can go the distance. He's gone the distance three times. I was thirteen wins. You know, how do you see him as a fighter? Obviously, on paper, it's a stand up game. But do you see that fight actually? happening you know this thing panning out that way um I, I do but a lot of times when you when you when you expect that a lot of times it ends up the, the complete opposite because you know neither guy wants to get knocked out but uh, i don't mind standing in front of anybody you know i've never ran from anybody or i've never really uh you know hit from people's power so i don't mind going out there and you know boxing with them at the same time i know he's a black belt i know he's an attack commission but i know his submission defense is is up there, you know, he, he went three rounds with Marcin Held, who catches everybody, and, and Marcin Held didn't catch him at all. So I know he when he's he he so tired, and he'll give you a submission. So uh, you never know, you know. I'm in great shape. I've been wrestling a lot, getting that wrestling cardio. So I know I, I could go out there and go, you know, three rounds standing. I go out there and go three rounds on the ground, and I, I think I'll break him with my my conditioning if I don't if I knock him out. We've we've I've interviewed you in the past a couple of, you know four or five different times. You seem a lot tired, like more tired right now, more calm than than I don't know if you're tired or more calm, you know, than the past interviews. Like, it, is it is it just that point of the train camp where you're like, Gee, I can't wait for this thing to get over, and I've got I've got enough going on, or is it that point of time where you're like, crap, I need to be sleeping right now to get ready for the next practice? 
Yeah, I'm actually, I do have training again. Uh, I just got back from, uh, I got to the gym at 9.30 this morning. I got home at, I think, 1.30 or 2. So I was at the gym the whole time. I did gi this morning. That I did uh, no gi. That I did uh, jiu-jitsu, like MMA jiu-jitsu. So I'm pretty tired, but at the same time, I'm, uh, I was able to wrestle a lot more. Like, you know, last year I had some issues where, where I couldn't wrestle. You know, and I never say that in my interviews because I'm not one to point out, you know, injuries and complain about about him but i wasn't able to wrestle and it, and, it, and it showed as soon as i started wrestling i got extremely tired and uh it showed in my fights and fights that i lost and even fights that i should have went one that i was wrestling i got tired you know and and it's yeah. because i didn't train wrestling but now you know I, I nothing's holding me back you know I'm, I'm i'm in there i'm kicking ass i'm doing real good and i'm i'm really excited about this fight i'm really excited about it this this fight's super exciting uh, for me, especially as well, because I get to see, you know, I get to see the differences and the development of both guys. Like I think that both the times, every time you guys fight, both of you improve quite a bit, and it's it's strange to see at this at the level that you're at of fighting that to see a big improvement every time. Uh, obviously, now no injuries, you're able to wrestle and be in better shape. That's going to be a huge improvement. Uh, your timing and your ground game is improved because of this, because you'll be able to wrestle. So that's going to be a big improvement. I'm yeah. also interested to see how how your hands come and how you're able to match up. You know, with, with Patricia, I want to see how it goes on the feet for you. Like that, that's a, that's a new game and defensively how things have stepped up. So for me, this is a super exciting fight to watch. I can't wait to see it on Spike on uh, August 28th. Are you, are you satisfied, uh, with how things are progressing for you? Every, and obviously you want more, you want to be more, you want to be the champ. Like I, I get all that. And I understand that whole, that whole game, but do you, are you satisfied with the way how things are progressing right, right now for you and that you're ready to, kind of step up and jump up and get ready to step into that next level of the game right now in Bellator? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, last year or the beginning of the year and towards the end of last year, I was uh, complaining a little bit. You know, I mean, I wanted big fights. I wanted to be on the main card. I wanted, you know, to get there and get, get a title fight, you know. But at the same time, uh, uh, by me not getting those big fights right away and um, them sticking me on the undercard, it's given me a lot more time to get better, to get more com- uh, comfortable in the in the in the ring or the cage, even though I fought in Bellator, you know, it was like my ninth fight, I think. Yeah. But most of my fights were fast. So it was like, I was getting in there and getting out, getting in there and getting out. So the last two fights I was able to go, you know, go the distance and, mm-hmm. you know, get hurt, you know, in the first round and then come back and, and win fights. Actually in the last three <laughs> fights I did. Yeah. And you, so, uh, 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 you got hurt in the first round against George Duarte. Uh, and that, that didn't get out of the first round. You didn't have TKO on, but you got, you got stung and oh, you came back and ended up finishing it. I mean, how bad was that sting? Like, were you really hurt? I, um, let's just say I, I was in the back room telling my coaches to warm me up. And they were like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, dude, I gotta go. I gotta fight. You know what I mean? I, uh, I'm, I'm next. You know, one of my teammates were back there and he had just lost. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta go. And they both looked at me like, are you crazy? And I looked at him like, oh my God, did I, did I get submitted? Did I get knocked out? And then they're looking at me like, no, you won. And then they started slowly telling me what happened. And it was coming back to me. I was like, holy crap, that that's not good. You know what I mean? That's not good. That's not good at all, but thank God my jiu-jitsu kicked in, you know. I'm really confident in my jiu-jitsu. I just don't use it enough because I, I like to box, but I, I, I've been, I started off in ju- doing jiu-jitsu, so, so I guess my jiu-jitsu just went into autopilot and, you know, strapped it yeah. in a triangle and just went from there. So, so yeah, he hit me hard. <laughs> he hit me pretty hard. That it, that's, it's awesome to hear that, that your, your base instinct, when you're unconscious, is to go right back to jits. Because yeah, basically, yeah, your, yeah. your mind's out, your legs are still moving, and you're like, hey, triangle, let's throw some elbows and see what happens. Mm-hmm, Good mm-hmm. for I'm, you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I, I know where, what I'm capable of. You know what I mean? I know how, how hard I trained and how long I've been training. Uh, a lot of people count me out because they, uh, they don't know my background, really. They see you know, some of the fights that I got tired in. I wasn't really training, and nobody really got to see my, my jiu-jitsu or my, my wrestling. Yeah. You know, And times that I, I should have used it, I wasn't able to because I, I didn't train it. But now I feel like, you know, I've, I've come around, you know what I mean? I've come around and I've had a, a good training camp and I still have two more weeks of this training camp to go, which every day I'm killing myself. So I know it's just, it's just going to get better and better from here. And I'm stronger, you know, I feel a lot yeah. stronger. So I think it's going to be good. It's going to be a good fight. Good for you, man. So I'm, I'm great. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're injury free. And, and man, that, that's a great piece of insight to realize that even when you're stung, you still know how to fight. You know, a lot of guys, <laughs> yeah. they get stung, they, they turn over and they curl up and they turn away and. Fight's done. You got stung. You're like, nope, break the triangle. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Screw this. I've, I've been, I mean, like, like I love to box. So I get, I get, I get hit a lot, you know, and I'm, yeah. I guess you could say I'm a little bit punchy, but I mean, it, it pays off, you know, it pays off because then fights, you know, you know, you know, you said, and then I don't want to fight anymore. But, but last three fights, I got yeah. dropped and I came back and won. So I think that's what I need. 
need is a, a good a good straight right to put me on my butt so I can wake up and you don't want you don't want to take too many of those, man, because you go yeah, from being yeah, punchy yeah. to being drooly. You know, you better start yeah. get get that defense down and learn how not to take a punch. That's the yeah, next yeah. step. I've been working that too. I've been working okay. a lot of my my movement because I notice like I come I like to come straight and uh and I begin to hit a lot. So one of the things I have been working on is my cutting my angle. So we'll see how it pr- plays out during this fight. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, now I'm gonna watch and I'm gonna count. Yeah. And yeah. When the fight's over, I'm gonna text you as soon as the fight's over. You walk him out to the locker room. You pick up your phone. I'm like, damn it, Trick just texted me. Twenty five times I got hit. I'm gonna count. Every time you get hit. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> All right, bro. Good. Thanks for coming on, man. We'll talk again soon. Have a great rest of your training camp, man. We'll talk mm-hmm. later on. No problem. Thank you, Frank. Not, always nice talking to you.